everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous, and today I'm going to show you how to resize your planner pages. Now, pretty much all of my designs come in 8.5 by 11, which is your standard A4 size, but A5 is really popular, and lately everybody has been shrinking down, so they have even smaller planners, and I think it's just going to help you when you sell your printables because there are so many different options out there. Now, these aren't very attractive. This is Target, um, but there's a lot of different pretty planners, and they all come in different sizes, and people have different preferences, and I just don't know that you can really target a market based on a planner size, uh, no matter how great your client avatar is. Plus inside Etsy, you're going to notice you may be able to sell, uh, your products may be more desirable because they come in all these different sizes, or you could differentiate differentiate your shop and simply sell them. This woman sells them in A5s and then she has a whole nother set in A4s and that I believe then people don't have to pay extra for sizes that they don't really want. Either way it's going to help you to be more versatile. So let's go into the academic planner and this is a great planner whether or not it's the academic calendar year or it's just any time of year uh, but the first thing you want to do is make sure that nothing's locked inside the document so you're going to have to go into the layers panel on every single sheet of whatever document you're in unless you created it yourself and honestly I don't remember which ones are locked and unlocked on all the documents I made but here you can see clearly in the layers panel that these two items are locked. Now, if you don't see a layers panel on your right, you can go to window and make sure layers is cl clicked. Now to unlock these, it's really easy. All you have to do is hit the unlock button. The other way to unlock things on a sheet, if you don't want to open the layers panel, is simply to open each sheet and say unlock all on spread, and you can see it just unlock those two items. So that will do the trick too without having to go through everything. And the reason you want to unlock them is because it's going to lock their dimensions. And we are going to use what's called liquid layout. So go over here over on the left and select the third one down. It's called page tool. And if you don't see page tool, you're actually going to be able to go up here to the top to layout and select liquid layout and that will bring you to the same place. Now, you could bring this pop up up, up uh, from there or you could just use the uh, menu at the top, which I prefer, and you, let's just resize uh, one page just to start out. And we're going to make sure we select scale. And then over here on the left, you can select any type of size that you want. And we are going to go ahead and select a five. So it automatically shrank the whole dot, that whole page, and you can see everything is still in scale. Now. Let's say we want to do the entire document. So we're gonna go over here to pages and we're just gonna make sure, I'm gonna hit Control A, that's going to select everything. And I'm going to go back here to liquid page rule, make sure it says scale, and then I'm gonna change the whole document to A5. You get the spinning beach ball because this is pretty large. I think there's 165 pages. And we're done. So you want to make sure, because not everything scales correctly. So you can see right here, this didn't really scale correctly and it kind of overlapped on the other page. Um, for the most part, this is a little bit off. So you may have to do some manual adjusting here and there, but for the most part, your document should rescale. And honestly, I can't explain why some things rescale and some things don't. So let's go back to the main selection tool. And over here, all you have to do, as you know, see, that's kind of weird. Uh, something scaled and some things didn't. You're just gonna select everything and then you can just shift it all over to the right. You know, just, I would say just eyeball it because there's not a lot of stuff. And oops, let's hold the shift key. I'll select those three lines that are out of place. I'll use my arrows to make sure I get it over. And there we go. So that's all done. Um, so all you have to do is go through and check things. See, this didn't go through either. So we'll just move these over. Um, and we'll have to move those up. But either way, this is going to be so much faster than in the other old days. I won't say the old days, but before uh, liquid layout, I used to have to do everything by hand for every single page that has to be adjusted to. Uh, this is going to make your life so much easier because there's just a couple pages that are maybe out of place uh, in the entire document. So now you have an A5 
product document. And again, you could repeat that same pattern for any size inside of here. Or if you want, here at the bottom, you could designate a custom size based on maybe, say, a particular client request if you want to do custom work or something else that you are trying to put together. So say a menu, uh, I do that frequently for restaurants. I will have to resize an entire menu based on uh, the inserts or the different sizes or a takeout menu or something like that. So I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys next week.